the server is ready now. Let us create the client. Create a new project. I name it as client. Okay. Create a new Java file. I will name it as RMI client. First, create the instance of the claim. Public static void main. Claim. Claim. So, RMA. To create the instance, RMA claim. Claim equal to new RMA claim. Plain dot connect server. Create a method on the connect server. Now let us connect the server to the plane. Set plane. Or move dot. First, create a registry. Why we need a registry? We have to get the server's registry. Part so locate registry dot get registry. Specify the address one two. Seven point zero point one and the port one zero double nine sixteen ports. Now call the interface RMI to find the server to locate the server. Which dot lookup and I specify the server name as server. Okay. Add the job file to the project. Now let us call the method which I specified here and it get data. So it returns some text. Oh my dog get data. I specify here some name. Let's print it. And that's it. For a reference to see whether it connected to server or not. Now let us run the server and plane. Server that is fine. Now run the claim. See, connected to server. Here, Tamil is called as parameter. This invokes the method get data. Here, I plus text is appended, and this text is iterated to the claim so that it prints as item. Now let can uh, shall we name name anything else? Now run the claim. See, and this is what the RMA works. In my next video, I will show you how to connect RMA using the with help of JFrame. Wait until then. Just like and subscribe. Thank you.